I'm Greg Stamp from Enchant, Alberta. I'm part of Stamp Select Seeds. We're a seed farm and we grow winter wheat. Winter wheat, it's been a really good, really good thing for our farm and a positive experience. We, we seem to always have uh, um, uh, something to harvest early on in August and spreads out our combine over a number of acres. And it also helps spread out our seeding equipment and helps us get ahead, start on spring seeding. In the spring, we always try and be seeding as early as possible, as, as soon as it's dry. And in the last uh, couple of years, we've had um, a couple of wet years in the past couple of years. And with those wet springs and those spring snowstorms, it's really helped to provide moisture. Here into canola stubble, and, and uh, it was extremely dry when we planted the winter wheat, but we planted it anyways, and we we had a nice rainfall afterwards, provided a nice head start for the winter wheat. And we've always had good survivability with the winter wheat. The variety that we're growing here is radiant. It's got some good disease resistance and uh, is a good fit for our farm. In 2010, when we had a whole lot of rain in the fall, we managed to get all of the winter wheat harvested before any of the rain came and it really helped to uh, well, they didn't get any of the weathering that our other crops got that, you know, were harvested a month after the winter wheat was harvested because of all the wet weather. So we're, we've always been happy growing winter wheat and we enjoy growing it. Winter wheat 2010, the east quarter. Spring winter wheat 2010. 